Welcome everyone. To enable or disable dynamic wallpapers, let's start by opening up the settings. And inside of the settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see wallpaper. On the newer softwares, you'll get a view like this. On the older softwares, it's easy, so I'll show the older first. On the older software, you just select choose a new wallpaper, dynamic, and just select the dynamic one you want, and then set, and you can choose where you set the dynamic wallpaper. On the newer software, we're going to select add new wallpaper, and then you're going to scroll all the way down. You're going to keep on scrolling until you see the collections. And you're going to swipe across. And this is the dynamic one here. One important thing to note about these dynamic wallpapers is that they, well, I'll show you. So you can swipe across to select which type you want. Uh, let's add. And then you're going to set as wallpaper pair. So if I go to my lock screen, so I'm going to go to my lock screen, you can see the dynamic wallpaper shows up. And it's, first of all, the gyroscope doesn't work with these dynamic wallpapers. Okay. You can see I'm tilting the phone. It doesn't work. This is compared to the older software, where you can see when I tilt my iPhone, look at those bubbles, they're moving. And on the newer software, I mean, <laughs> they're not moving. And uh, what you may find disappointing is when you go to the home screen, the bubbles stay still entirely. So these bubbles are not animated at all. And this is compared to the older software, where if I go to my home screen, you can see the bubbles are showing up. And uh, you can see those bubbles. See that one that's moving there? Uh, you know, you can see everything is animated. So the newer software removed the cool feature. This was my favorite uh, dynamic wallpaper back in the day, but um, now it does not move. And uh, that's how it is. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.